Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I'm reading to you from the first epistle general of John, chapter 1. And there was one verse that struck my eye that I'd like to talk about briefly. It's verse 5, and it goes like this. This, then, is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. I'll read it again. This, then, is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. So how could that be? Because here we are living in a world of duality, of darkness and light. And the astral realm that is more fine than this physical realm also contains both darkness and light. How can that be? When the greater realm, the fifth dimension, which is now here on earth, is almost completely light with small variations of tone or taste or shade. How can that be? <sighs> because all that is proceeds from, from God. And all that is in a quantum sense consists of light or photons. And this mass that we see appears to be dark, does it not? But what is this mass, really? How can there be duality unless the dark serves the purpose of the light? How can there be death unless it is birth to a higher understanding? How can there be this great parade of shapes and changes, this panorama of suffering, unless they further our own soul evolution, our own return to an understanding of the light that is all that is? How can there be power in darkness when truth is light? How can there be darkness at all unless we imagine something that isn't so? Well, what is mass? Is it a very long, drawn-out thought from our divine minds? Do thoughts that don't flow appear to be darker and denser, I wonder? So are we existing in a reality of where thought is, has been slow down or hampered in some way. And what does the slowing or hampering consist of then? And what would be our reality if the thought flowed free? What is this notion of time that we have? But a way to stop the light and shade the light for the purpose of soul evolution. Why can we not free ourselves immediately from time? Why can we not reimagine re all that is and recreate it on the instant? Are these not skills that are our birthright? Shall we not step into our power as co-creators of reality? Shall we not remember the light? 